Hello everybody, we are discussing Cynthia Nixon said, Andrew Cuomo scandal revealed quintessentially who he is. Watch this report, share with your friends, and we're coming with a lot more to share in this video. And just like that, Cynthia Nixon felt some vindication for losing to Andrew Cuomo. The Emmy winner revealed Thursday that she wasn't surprised when her one-time political rival was forced to resign as governor of New York in August over multiple allegations of sexual harassment during his time in office. I thought this is quintessentially who he is and it is finally being revealed for everyone, not just the people who really pay attention, Nixon, 55, exclusively told Page Six at the opening night of Company on Broadway. The Sex and the City alum announced in March 2018 that she was running for governor, presenting herself as a progressive challenger to incumbent Cuomo. A primary held that September, however, saw Cuomo receive 66% of votes while Nixon got 34%. But before details, please subscribe this channel and hit bell icon, so you'll be keep in touch with us. She is devoid of any bitterness or regret for failing to secure the nomination, though. The thing is, I ran four years ago, and 90% of my platform has been passed, so that's even better, Nixon told us. He's no longer governor, we got the lion's share of what we needed, and I got to go and do, and just like that, and, the Gilded Age. In fact, the actress confessed that she was feeling a tad fatigued Thursday, as she'd spent the previous evening partying it up at the splashy premiere of HBO Max's SATC revival. It was so great, she enthused. I didn't get home, till 4. I was dancing, the night away, and I'd invited a lot of friends who were there, and it was such a great night. Honestly, I just wanted to keep the party going today, and I could not think of a more celebratory thing to do, so even though we're tired, we just want to keep the party going. Other celebs who attended the opening night of Company, which had previously been postponed due to COVID-19, included Bobby Cannavale, Naomi Watts, newlyweds Mark Ronson and Grace Gummer, Jane Krakowski and Jesse Tyler Ferguson.